Hi everyone, welcome to another play chat here on the Netball Post. My name is Ali Kells and today I'm having a chat with Queensland Firebirds mid-quarter Kim Revalian. Kim, thanks for the opportunity to speak with me. No problem, thanks for having me. No, no worries. Um, firstly, how are you and how are you feeling after such a hectic season? Um, I'm really good, actually. I'm currently in sunny Queensland, so I can't really complain. And obviously with all the COVID lockdowns, I'm in one of the better states. So I'm doing well. Um, I've lost my voice. <laughs> Had a big weekend, <laughs> as you can imagine. But, um, yeah, we're doing really well up here. As for the season, it was a roller coaster, wasn't it? Um, it, was. You know, it was. We we literally had to live day by day and and kind of just go with what was um, happening in the next who knows one or two hours uh, and, and plan from there. So you couldn't really plan ahead. You just have to. You just had to get yourself ready and up and going. So mentally, it was it was challenging. But I guess it wasn't just me doing it. I had you know my whole team in the same boat, and so we kind of all rallied together and. And really found some resilience throughout the season. So obviously we finished fifth, so not happy with that result. But what we are happy with is, is how we dealt with, you know, all the challenges throughout the year. And I've obviously spoken to a couple of other people as well, um, Verity and Katie, um, and and they said the same thing as well, how hectic the season has been. But I tell you what, you guys have done such a brilliant job just to get through this season, which I definitely admired as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, it, it was difficult, but like I said, um, one, we were lucky to continue doing our jobs, which was playing netball and, you know, earning our money. And, and you just got to think about how grateful you are to be in the position that we are. And I think that's what kept us going and, and to provide some form of entertainment for those sitting at home on their couches, not being able to work was a motivator for us. And um, yeah, yeah. We were just lucky enough to play netball, the sport that we love, and, and do it together. No, you definitely did a great job there. Now, I need to congratulate you for winning the Laurie Guides MV, Laurie Guides MVP medal on Saturday night. Um, how did you feel when you when your name got called out? Ah, I guess you never know how you're going to feel, uh, especially winning a big award. Sorry, the child just decided. <laughs> Um, but I guess I was just hit with so many emotions and, you know, as an athlete, you, you taught to be resilient and hold in all emotion and things like that. And so when my name got announced, it just kind of all came rushing, all my emotions came to the forefront and, yeah, I got really emotional and I guess I just had to really reflect on what a big season it had been. You know, I'd just come off from having a baby and, coming back into playing and the main thing I wanted to do was find the love for the game again and I did that and I managed to play pretty well as well so to receive that uh, MVP award was something really special and yeah I'm very happy with how it went so proud of myself. Oh I tell you what you definitely did a great job throughout the year and um, part two of that question is um how much did it mean also taking out the players' player of the year and the members' player of the year as well? Yeah, I guess it, I still haven't had time to go, wow, I, I can't believe I did that. And so I think the players' player one is very special to me because obviously that's voted by the playing group and I clearly had an impact on that. And so that's really special to me and I'm so grateful that the girls uh, think of me in that way. Um, so... I really did appreciate uh, receiving that award. And as for the, the Players Member Award, that's, again, another special award. And to be recognised by our Purple family is something really special too. Speaking of getting back on the court, um, how did it feel playing in front of the home fans at Nissan Arena and playing back, playing again in the Firebirds colours? Amazing. It just felt like home. Um, I felt like I never left, so <laughs> I love it. The fact that I was embraced by the purple family and the purple crowd and yeah it just felt I felt so confident playing out in front of them again and like I said it just felt like home. You touched on it earlier it's been such a tough um 21 2021 season um how did it feel moving from state to state and moving around moving around quite a lot and how did you find it? 
I guess we got lucky at one point. We were able to stay in Melbourne for about two weeks, I think. And my partner is actually, we live down in Melbourne. Um, and so I got to spend a couple of days, a couple, yeah, a few days with him. And he got to see his daughter, which was really special. So, um, and then we had to go to Adelaide and then we ended up coming straight back to Brisbane. So I think out of all the teams, we were quite lucky to kind of remain at home in Brisbane and everyone ended up coming up here. So yes, whilst it was, you know, we were moving around a fair bit, I feel like we got lucky in some parts. I mean, me in particular being a Melbourne girl, some of the Victorian girls in the team got to see their families. Um, and, you know, Georgie hadn't seen her nanny in a while uh, in Victoria. So she got to see her and, and her dad and um, hello. Uh, and, <laughs> the yeah, cattle <laughs> catch up with everyone so um it was good to get back to melbourne yeah so that was that was good good to play there i tell you what you've done a really good job as you said now being a new mum um how did you find it coming back into the league and playing again i actually felt better than i'd ever have hey i don't know what it is about becoming a mum but you almost feel like you get i don't know a, a, a not like a I don't want to say the F word, but uh, <laughs> you know, F off attitude. Like you just you kind a of like, new start, you I guess. Yeah, yeah, new start. <laughs> yeah, fresh, fresh new wings. But you you don't care about yourself as much. You more inclined to care about your little girl, and, and you do everything for that. You know your little dependent. So yeah, I guess I stopped caring about myself and. Um, you know, usually like if, when I didn't have Georgie, I would play and I would just, if I didn't play well, I would dwell on it for a while. And I guess now having a child, you know, if you didn't play well, well you didn't really have time to think about it because you had to, you had to be there for your little kids. So, um, and, you know, make sure that she was happy. And so that was my distraction um, this whole year was that I got to go play the game that I love and then come home and be with my little girl. So. Oh no, and I tell you what, Georgie's so adorable as well. Did she was she able to come to a few games to watch as well? Or absolutely, she came to a few of our home games. Um, as she got older, though, her sleeping sleeping patterns and things changed. And our later games, she couldn't come to, but the ones that were during the day, she definitely came to. And I tell you what, it's awesome to see <laughs> she goes just crashing the party there. What sort of strategies? So when you got back into training, what sort of strategies did you use to prepare yourself and were there any challenges? Um, I guess it all depended on, you know, my birth experience and how that went. And so I was pretty lucky my birth experience. I didn't have uh, any bad experience. I only had a couple of internal stitches and so I, my recovery wasn't that long. Um took me about four weeks or so to get back into it and so I kind of just took my time with you know getting back to full fitness and I you know I wasn't really sure if I wanted to play netball again and it wasn't until the opportunity arose that the Firebirds offered me a contract and then I really started to think okay yeah all right I'll give it a crack and I just thought if I didn't do it then I'd regret regret not trying again so I'm so glad I have because now I just want to play another few years so it's exciting <laughs> and Georgia gets to watch both her mum and dad you know play at an elite level of sport and I was going to say in a way as well as as Georgie grows up as well she can I guess hopefully be able to play hopefully play netball with herself as well yeah she can do whatever sport she wants <laughs> so far I think she wants to be a professional couch <laughs> And so, not sleep, but <laughs> she's full of energy, you could say. <laughs> yeah, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, during the time when you were getting back on court, how do you stay calm if you're having a tough game? I guess that's why I don't play an individual sport. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky that I play a team sport because it's not only you out there, you got to kind of rely on your teammates to bring you back in to have those honest conversations on court so I guess I was you know I've got, I've got Gretel Boetta next to me and I've got Lara Dunkley, Gabby Simpson, Kim Jenner all those girls on court around me 
who can pull me back into the game. And we do a lot of work uh, off the court on knowing how each other react. And that's what kind of helps me um, stay clear and composed when I'm out on court because they know what my triggers are and, and they know how to bring me back into the game. And one last question. Um, what advice would you tell um, any, any youngsters out there who are coming up the ranks? Uh, that it's a long road ahead. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't come easy. You've got to do all the hard work. And it, uh, for me, like I missed out on a couple of teams when I was younger <laughs> and that I'm grateful for because it made me stronger um, and it made me want it even more. So my attitude was to never give up um, and now it applies to everyday, everyday life and never giving up because, um, yeah, only you can be in, in the power of that and control of what you do uh, after those setbacks. So, Well, Kim, thank you so much for taking up your time to have a chat with me and I guess balancing as well with um, Georgie. Um, it's been awesome seeing you back on the court and playing again. Um, keep up the great work and can't wait to watch you back on the court next year.